got almost 29 days to enter, so uh, let your friends know about this giveaway so that more people can enter. All right, time to cut the seal and lift the box up, and here we have the beauty, the almighty Galaxy S10 Plus in the prism white color. Oh my god, guys, this is the first time I'm touching the Galaxy S10. This is, this is definitely a moment. And I never had a Galaxy phone in a white color, so this is a really new thing for me. Can't wait to test this phone out to its absolute limit. Let's check out the stuff we have in the box. So, first up, we've got a fast charger along with USB ODG to connect the USB devices via Type-C port. Then we've got this cute little boxes here, from which we've got a Type-C cable, an old Type-C to USB 2.0 adapter, and lastly, we've got the packaging for the AKG headphones. They look pretty good. I will be testing the new Galaxy Buds as well, so make sure to stay tuned for that. So that's pretty much what we get out of the box, the charger, Cable, Type-C adapters, and the AKG headphones. Okay, moving this stuff out of the way, and let's take a look at the Galaxy S10 Plus, the star of the show. We've got this plastic on the back, and we also got a plastic on the front of the display. Slow and easy. Looks pretty damn good. Wow. It's a 6.4 inch display. It feels really good in hand, at least with my big hand. And all right, it's time to boot this bad boy up here for the first time. Let's see. Galaxy S10 Plus secured by Knox. And wow, this definitely looks really premium in hand. Uh, feels like obviously if this is a unit, but if you pay for this phone like $1,000, uh, you'll definitely get the feel that you paid that much money for a premium product. So it's giving me that luxury vibe. And boom, we are on. And I'm just going to go ahead and select English language. Okay, going to the setup, it's very similar to the older phones, of course. Uh, this time we have the finger scanner inside the actual display. So really excited to test that out. Setting up the finger scanner is incredibly fast, as you can see. All right, 67. 71, reposition your finger each time, I'm adding my left thumb as well, because we use both, so. And here we have the One UI, and my god, what is this display? Super high res, dynamic AMOLED display, quad AC resolution, wow. So, by default, of course, they have this clever wallpaper, so it's kind of black towards the right-hand side, so you don't really see the hole that much. Of course, if you're going to open a bright application or right background, it's going to be uh, visible a lot, but yeah, by default, they have this nice wallpaper, so uh, it's running the One UI. I've talked about it before. looks very familiar. I have to say, they really outdid themselves this year. I mean, this thing is looking... Insane. Soon as the S10 Plus model, we've got the edge on the side. The top has very minimal bezel, like almost non-existent. And then a little bit of chin there, uh, which honestly is like slightly bigger than the iPhone's chin, but the overall design looks much futuristic. Here's the quick side-by-side -side design comparison with the iPhone Dennis Max. You can see the uh, hole definitely is a next level from the notch. It takes up less space. And again, I'll be doing my full review soon using this. I have been using the Samsung Galaxy A8s that has the Infinity Hold towards the left. It is the cheapest Infinity O design Galaxy out there right now. But the S10 Plus has a build shape hold, so that's a bit of a different experience. The front camera on the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus can record up to 4K. And it has 10 megapixel resolution. And this particular model, the S10 Plus has a added 8 megapixel sensor for those uh, depth sensing selfies. There the back we get three cameras so there is a ultra wide angle 16 megapixel lens along with the main 12 megapixel sensor uh, with a telephoto zoom lens which is up to 2x. Under the hood you get Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 slash Exynos 9820 so both chips that are really fast this one is actually the Exynos model so I'll be testing out the performance and everything so make sure to subscribe for that. Now one thing that I've noticed here is that they have removed the 3D touch or force touch home button thing that we had with the older uh, Galaxy S8 and Note 9. It makes sense because now we have the in-display finger scanner, so, so you don't have to 3D touch it, and the speed of the in-display 
everything with scanner. It's not the most fastest, obviously. It is the ultrasonic scanner, so it's said to be more reliable and more secure than any other in-disc flipping with scanner out there. Uh, hopefully, with more updates, they can make it even faster. And for those who don't already know, this thing still has the headphone jack, which is absolutely amazing. So yeah, that wraps up this unboxing video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, Prism White S10 Plus is the one that I have that I'll be checking out. I'll be using it. I'll be doing my review really soon. And at this time, I'll be doing a lot of testing, speed tests, battery tests. You guys know. Uh, make sure to subscribe. And again, I'll be announcing the winner for the Galaxy S10 giveaway on 24th March. All right, stay tuned. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.